A new fitness class has started up near Southampton, but unlike most workout programs, this one is for naturists. And joining us in the studio to tell us more about it, it's new to size personal trainer Helen Smith. Welcome, Helen. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. So, just tell me a bit about how this all started. Well, I'm a member of British Naturism, um, so I was on the BN website and on the forum just having a chat with some of the people on there about this and that. And one of the guys I was talking to saw that I was a personal trainer and he said, oh, you know, do you do any nude exercise classes? And I said, no, I don't, but I thought, well, it seems like a, like a good idea. And so I looked into it and uh, there didn't seem to be anyone else in my area uh, that was doing it. So I thought, right, let's start rolling some classes out across Hampshire. And so just to be completely clear, yeah. everybody is naked in the class. Absolutely. You're naked, all the participants are completely naked, and you do what kind of exercise in the class? Uh, well, we do really similar sort of exercise that you do in any, any class that you could go to up and down the country. Um, I do say you can wear trainers if you want to, um, and women can wear sports bras uh, for comfort. But, um, yeah, really the exercises are, are very similar. There's not really an awful lot of things that we can't do as naturists that you can do with clothes on, really. Okay, and what's the kind of pick-up beam? Has it gone well? It has, it has gone well, yeah. For my, for my first class that I did, I had 10 people that signed on to attend and 10 people came, which is really fabulous because you <laughs> would expect a little bit of a, little bit of a dropout um, in terms of people that think that they'd like to come along but then get maybe cold feet at the last minute. Um, so, yeah, it's going really well. I've had lots of really positive responses from everyone that I've spoken to, which has been lovely. And um, where do you do these classes? In a, in a traditional gym or in a hall? Or? Uh, well, in a range of places, really. I've got classes going on in village halls. Um, I've got classes going on in studios, in gyms as well. Um, really, anywhere that there's enough space for people to run around and enough space for people to be able to do the exercises that we're doing and obviously ensuring that the location itself is, is, is private. We don't want anybody looking in and um, being offended um, and equally we want to respect the, the privacy and, and dignity of the people that are taking part in the class as well. I was going to say you have to warn people, you don't want people kind of stumbling in by mistake thinking it's bridge club or something. <laughs> well, I mean the rooms are booked uh, under, under nude size so really you'd only, you know, you'd only come in the room if, if you were going to be doing the class. Um, some of the halls ensure that the building is completely um, locked up and I'm the only person in there um, and um, Obviously, we, we ensure that curtains are closed and that sort of thing. So I, I can't imagine that there would be anyone that, uh, that would stumble across us accidentally. Okay. And what do you, what for you, what's the appeal of naturism? Um, well, I got into British naturism about uh, two years ago, um, completely by accident, really. I was on holiday in France, I uh, went to a beach. When I got there, me and my partner realised it was a naturist beach. Uh, so we sort of looked at each other thought let's go for it, stripped off and um, I remember sitting on the beach waiting to feel strange, waiting to kind of have that panic when you look down and realise actually you have got nothing on um, and that panic never came and it was just, it was lovely to be, to be nude and I just, I just think it's a really nice, really nice way to be, it's completely free, there's no judgement whatsoever, you'll find in the naturist community everyone's really friendly, everyone's really welcoming especially you know they are aware that people that are trying it for the first time it can be quite a nerve-wracking thing to do so um, it's just it's just a lovely way to be just um, in a completely non-judgmental environment I think there's so much pressure on people these days to look a certain way dress a certain way um, and there's none of that so and some people you know will be naturists already mm -hmm. so they presumably would be perfectly happy Absolutely. with this kind of class yep. some people you know maybe have tried it a bit some people have not tried it and are not interested and then there'll be people that you know maybe slightly curious about yep. it feel like this could be something they're interested in is this the kind of class that you know they should go to or should they maybe try it in a different environment first and then think about coming to your class well i would say i'd welcome everybody everybody that wants to come and try it try it they're obviously welcome to do so uh, it can be a very scary thing to do so I think you'd probably have to be possibly quite a brave individual for an exercise class to be your very first foray into naturism um, there are lots of swims that happen up and down the country um, there are a lot of uh, swimming pools that you can go to where the pool is 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 closed off to um, people with swimming costumes and you can just come along and swim in the nude and that's a really nice way to start off uh, because you are in the pool so you don't feel perhaps quite as exposed. So I would say if people want to try a class, obviously, you know, contact me, come along, any questions or concerns that you have, I'll, 
I'll try and answer them for you. But if you think it is a little bit of a, a jump too soon, then come along to one of the nature swims that you'll be able to find advertised up and down the country, try that out and then go from there. And I mean, some people would say that, you know, it's sort of a bit bizarre, this wanting to be naked all yeah. the time and they would find that not normal. What would you say to them? Um, I would say that it's each to their own. A lot of people don't like being naked and nobody is going to say to you, you ought to be naked in various different situations. I think it's just up to people if they, if they enjoy being nude and they enjoy doing various activities nude, then fabulous. As long as you're not hurting anybody else or, or offending anybody else, then I think it's, it's a great way to be. And equally, I think, you know, there's a lot of people up and down the country that, you know, wouldn't want to go to a spin class, for example, or they wouldn't want to go to a boot camp um, where you're sort of, you know, in the mud and getting rained on and all that sort of thing. And to those people, I say, well, that's absolutely your prerogative. Don't, don't do those things and choose something that you do enjoy doing. I think fitness is, 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 is really important. Everyone should try and keep a, a good level of fitness. Um, but it's about finding something that you enjoy. Some people enjoy cycling. Some people enjoy swimming. Some people enjoy news sites. So. <laughs> <laughs> and how much does naturism, how much has that taken over the rest of your life? What do you kind of, are you naked all the time at home or is it just an occasional thing? Um, well, obviously it's weather dependent, very much so. Um, yeah, I do try and be naked uh, around the house as much as possible because that's just a really nice thing to do. Um, I'm hoping to join a, a naturist club as well where you can go and just spend the whole day there or part of the day or whatever being nude. Um, obviously I go to a lot of the swims uh, across the southeast of England. Um, so yeah, I would say, you know, um, it's all within um, sensible parameters. If it's chilly, I'm not going to be outside and, you know, if there was um, a, a, a scenario where it wasn't appropriate to be, to be nude, then obviously you're going to respect other people. And their and their um, and their situation. Um, my family are quite um, traditional, so obviously I would respect that when I'm when I'm with my family. So I think that's what it's all about: just doing doing what makes you happy, but also having respect for everybody else and consideration for people around you as well. Helen, it's been fascinating to find out about your class and an insight into the naturist community. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you.